Hi, I'm Tanner, Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going over a used 2009 two horse straight load four star. Really cool trailer. I think it was really much, pretty much ahead of its time as far as features, structure wise. It's a really cool older two horse straight load. So I hope you guys like it as we walk around it. Coolest concept of this trailer is it does have this double door front tack. I'll show you guys one side and then we'll walk around and show you guys the other side at the end. But here on this door, you do get two brush trays. I really like that you get two of them, not for just being able to store more brushes and more sprays and stuff like that, but I do like that they also rubber coat the bottom of them. The reason I like that they are rubber coated is just because, again, it's super cold this morning, so if you leave your sprays in here overnight, they're probably going to freeze, and if they're super full, they might crack or explode on you. So by having these rubber lined in the bottom, it's going to make that super easy to clean for you guys. We also notice this door is fully carpeted. Not just the door is, but also the full inside of this front tack, as well as your other door is fully carpeted. The reason I like fully carpeting your tack rooms, um, you don't see a lot. Typically you'll see the floor or maybe just behind your bridle hooks, but when it's fully carpeted like this, it makes it super easy to clean for you guys. You can power wash this, you can vacuum this, pretty much whatever you guys can think of to keep it clean. But it also keeps it you know, in great shape. If you have bridles and totes rolling around in here, scratching up stuff, your trailer can get dinged up pretty easy, but by fully carpeting it, it's gonna keep it looking, e looking nice and neat for you guys. As we pan around inside here, you guys will notice that whoever built this trailer added a plenty of bridle hooks for you guys. I mean, this is a two horse straight load. This is set up for two horses, so you're gonna have plenty of room to store all your tack for those two horses. You're gonna have upper and loader bridle hooks all the way around, as well as this Rubbermaid. Uh, I would use it for buckets and stuff like that, but I'm sure you can think of plenty of uses for it. They're fully adjustable and slidable. Whoever installed them did a really good job as well. As you'll notice, there are full LED lights on each side of this tack room, so you're gonna have plenty of light in here on low, low light mornings or low light nights. You notice over there, your saddle rack is a swing out saddle rack. You can swing it out to that off side of this trailer that I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Pulling away from this tack room, you will notice there is an LED spotlight here above this tack room door. Again, low light mornings, low light nights, or even dark. Um, you are going to have the battery power to run all these lights separate from your truck, which I think is super handy. So you're not gonna have to be hooked up to your truck to be able to run all the lights and features in this trailer, which I think is super nice. Cool thing I also like about it is a lot of these uh, two horse straight loads, you won't have an escape door on them. Just because if you have a two horse straight load, a lot of times you can't have a full length escape door because it'll get into this wheel, wheel well right here, like you see. But the cool concept like this, like I said, this trailer I believe was a little bit ahead of its time. Um, they went ahead and did you about a three quarter escape door. Not necessarily big enough to jump a horse out if you get in a bind, but I mean, if you do wreck a trailer, it is big enough that they can fit a horse out of it. But the reason I like it is because you notice there's a feed bag hanging right here. It's super easy to be able to pop that door open, come right here to this feed bag, feed your horses, check on your horses while you're traveling. I mean, you can pretty much dang near climb in this trailer through this escape door right here on the side, especially with that running board right there. So it's super handy that they did that versus just putting a window there like most companies would have this year type model. The thing I really like about it too, I'm not going to drop this one because I'll drop one on the other guys to show you, but there are drop downs on this escape door as well. A lot of times you do little escape windows and stuff like that in these two horse straight loads, you don't get that drop down. You'll just get this one behind me like that and then it'll just be a finished out trailer. So it's really cool that they gave you guys two big drop downs for each one of your horses as well as a big sliding type I'm fixing to show you guys. So you will get this big drop down. It's a little bit smaller drop down in that door, but this one is a full size drop down. Again, it'll operate pretty freely and you will have your drop down gel bars as well. So again, if you do need to check on your horse, maybe untie them, tie them, get a horse fly off of them in the middle of the day or something like that while you're traveling, you can drop those gel bars, really easy to do so. And then that'll lock back in place for you guys to travel with. So not only do you get the two drop down windows for airflow for your horse, but you also get this really huge sliding type bus window right here. So you're gonna be able to really maximize airflow for each one of your horses to however you guys see fit. So I really like about that about this trailer. It has lots of options for you guys. We did put brand new rubber on this trailer. And you can see that whoever had the aluminum simulators on this trailer took really good care of them. They're not scratched up, they're not dinged up, and they really make this trailer look flashy for how old it is. We also got you guys a brand new spare on this trailer as well. The cool thing about them simulators is you'll notice that wheel looks white right here. But if you do blow a tire, get a flat or something like that, and you do need to swap tires, you can always throw them simulators over that spare rim and you will look matchy while you go down the road. That way your trailer's not looking off when you roll into a show or a rodeo or something like that. So we come around this trailer. Again, it is a 50-50 type setup. You will have no posts just because your main post is gonna serve as your divider right here. 
You also have a low light, again, night conditions or low light conditions. We want you to be able to see what you're doing, but we also want your horse to be able to see what they're doing so you don't get in trouble and your horse doesn't get in trouble. I have this inside broken up kind of so I can show you guys some different features without taking all day long. Um, the first side over here, I got your butt bar taken down. Cool thing about this butt bar is they make it super simple for you guys. You're going to have one pin right here and then a, a spring pin right here. So it's super easy to use your spring pin to latch this in over here and then latch it right here solid. The cool thing I like about doing the spring type setup versus just the floating gate is a lot of times you'll see in these older two horse straight loads that you have to have both bars up to be able to fully secure this center gate. In this type setup, it's stout enough that you do not need both bars to secure this center gate. You can haul one horse in here and this without having both your butt bars up. It saves you guys time and it saves you guys the hassle of having to take two butt bars down, two chest bars down every time you want to load one horse. It's also really nice that you have these padded dividers in here. You'll be padded on both your walls and your dividers in this trailer. So they did a really cool setup in here as well as your chest bar. But as you can see, it's kind of the same type setup for your chest bar as well. You will have two pins on each side holding your chest bars in there, as well as a tie ring up front to tie your horses either to that front. You can tie them up high, or like I said, if you want to tie them right here to this sidewall to get easy access through your drop down window, you can do that as well. You'll also notice there are LED lights for each stall, as well as another air vent up on your roof that'll collect that air while you're traveling. So again, more airflow for your horses is better. The more options you have for airflow is better. In summer, you're going to want to maximize your airflow through here. In winter, you're kind of want to temper it. It can get pretty hot. I know I heard a while back they did a study. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was pretty cold temperatures. They loaded horses in there just to see how warm it would get, you know, snowing outside and stuff like that. Shut all the windows up, and the horses are actually sweating after an hour or so in that trailer. So your horses still get hot in here when it's cold outside. So you want to be able to temporize that airflow however possible for you guys. If you look down, the coolest part about this trailer, I think, is it does have this worm flooring or poly last, whatever you want to call it. It is a permanent rubber floor in this trailer, so you'll never have to pull mats in this trailer. And believe me, having a two, two horse straight load with all these post holes and stuff like that for these dividers, it makes pulling mats super tough on you guys. So by doing this permanent floor, whoever had this trailer, um, they really made it easy, easy on themselves, but also for that next customer. They're never going to have to worry about the floor rotting in this trailer. Never going to have to worry about you know pulling mats, but they're also going to be able to clean it very well. So you can power wash this out, let it air dry, and you'll be fine for years to come. I got it set up right here. This is what this will look like, fully latched in, just to give you guys a couple different visuals of this trailer. The thing I like about it is it is kick matted about halfway up the whole length of this trailer. And this is a seven, seven and a half foot tall trailer. So by having that kick mat that high up on the walls, you're really not going to have to worry about your horse kicking through you know straight to steel or anything like that they're going to be hitting this kick mat which is way easier to replace than like a steel panel would be on this trailer so they really took care of you guys four star did as far as having such an older trailer have i think as many upgrades as this old style does cool thing i also like about it again talking about airflow i want to show you guys it might be froze shut up on me but you do get drop downs on both your butt windows as well it's super cool that you get so many drop down windows on a trailer. A lot of times since they cost more they won't do them especially on a smaller unit like a bumper pull. So a lot of people just think it's not cost effective to you know spice up a smaller trailer like this but by doing drop downs everywhere like this you can see how many options it gives you guys as far as checking on your horses, giving your horse air, clean fresh air while you're traveling but also giving you guys the options to check on them, feed them, brush them, whatever you guys need to do. I mean they're super cool operating windows for the age of this trailer. So move around to this other side, it's going to be pretty similar to that other side. You know, the same drop downs, the same window types. You're also going to have a tie ring on each side of this trailer as well. Cool thing I'll show you guys is that drop down in your escape door on this side. So I didn't show you guys on the other side, but you do will get a drop of this escape window. Again, it's a pretty big drop for an escape window, so this is kind of what it looked like while you guys were traveling. You're going to get that big drop behind, that big drop on the head, you'll have your big slider open. So as you can see, your horse is pretty much going to have maximum air while he's traveling. It's also going to be nice for him to kind of see out and stuff. He's not going to feel as enclosed if you have a horse that kind of feels claustrophobic in these trailers, but I know horses can get that way. So it's super awesome, again, giving you guys them options. Over here to your saddle inside of this trailer, again, it's pretty much the same. You're going to be fully carpeted, but you will notice that swing out is mounted outside this trailer. It's really cool that, again, you have that upgrade like a swing out on such an older trailer. Again, 
you are fully carpeted on both your saddle racks. So you're not scratching your saddles up and you're not scratching your trailer up. So it's super cool. You'll get a little lever right here that'll operate it. It'll swing back inside itself and it'll latch for travel right here up top in your gate right here. So again, you're not gonna worry about your saddles banging around in this trailer. When you get where you're going, it's gonna be super easy for you to pull a pin, slide this out and saddle your horses. Again, you also have some bridle hooks right here. I think whoever owned this trailer probably set it up that they could saddle, pull their saddles right off, pull their bridles right off and saddle the horse on this side of the trailer. And again, you will have another spotlight up above this door to match the other side. Up here at the front, again, another upgrade for this trailer is we do have an electronic jack on this trailer. So you can run this trailer up and down freely off the battery power. You're not gonna have to have it hooked to your truck to be able to operate it the same way you wouldn't be able to operate your lights. So it's really cool that you have that battery set up on a trailer like this. And then of course, two and five sixteenths ball, you have your seven pin and your safety change. Your breakaway brakes will be re not necessarily replaced, but they will be ran through our shop. If they're defective, your breakaway batteries will be replaced. All your brakes will be replaced, checked, bearings, everything like that. This will run through a world-class shop and get checked out. So you guys can be confident. If you are interested in this trailer or any, of our, any other of our used trailers here at TransWest, they did get a full service through our shops. Um, you're getting the best quality used trailer you can find out there on the market today. But if you are interested in this trailer, maybe some of our newer trailers, some other used ones we may have, go ahead and give us a call. But if you're interested in this trailer, the stock number for this trailer is 5U211852. Again, it's a 2009 four-star, two-horse straight load bumper pull. Like I said, if you're interested in this trailer, maybe some other trailers we have, go ahead and give us a call. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.